Hello guys and girls, this is Guy with Curly Hair. For this video, I want to try my hardest to create tones from the band Nirvana. Now, I have to make a disclaimer. I don't have the same gear that they had or that Kurt had because, you know, it's just how it is when you're somebody who's a guitarist who has a Squire Bullet Strat and an Epiphone SG and a Acoustic G20 amp and then a Nux NG100 modeling guitar processor which this is what I'm going to use to try to create those tones and I'm also going to use a Boss DS2 as well which Kurt did use live a lot but you know I'll try my best to create the tones I'll also have it shown on there what settings I used and what amp I used and etc because there's a lot of people that are curious about that kind of thing as well so let's get straight into the video and I hope you enjoy my attempt at trying to create these tones and trying to make it sound as close as I can get it so let's do it
did I get close to that to the tones of each of the songs or did it not even sound close to it let me know in the comments if I got close to that Nirvana guitar tone how I did did it did it sound close to it did it not sound close you know I tried the best I could to get it to sound as you know close to each song that I I tried the best that I could to get it to sound close to each to each song and each album you know the thing is this MG100 does not have mess of boogie nothing it just has like a amp that says rectifier which I don't which Kurt didn't use a rectifier, he used a Mesa Boogie Studio preamp for Nevermind. And then for a Utero, I don't even know what he used, so I just... For Bleach, for the Bleach songs, I just used, you know, a twin amp setting on there. And I set the bass to 6, and I set the mids and the treble to 8. And that's the sound that I got. And then for the Nevermind stuff, I went to this guitar and I used the DS2 I have the distortion set like around right like this and then I have the tone kind of pointed this way and then the level I have turned up a little bit higher than how I have the MG100 set so like I have the level and master for the MG100 at about 12 o'clock and then the level on the DS2 is turned up a little bit, the tone's turned up this way, or it's pointed this way, and then the distortion is pointed this way. So, for the Bleach stuff, for the for some of the songs for Bleach, except for About a Girl, I used a fuzz setting on the MG100, and then for the Nevermind stuff, I just used the DS2, and how I actually got the sound for Scentless Apprentice is... I literally just have settings written down for it. I literally just set the I set the rate, I pointed the rate and depth of the chorus like this, and then I had the mix turned up, and then the delay I had the timing of the delay turned down like this, turned to this, and then the repeat was pointed this way, and then the mix was turned up right about here. And that's kind of how I got the sound of Scentless Apprentice. It's just chorus and delay and then the DS2 so in my opinion I would say I got pretty close but let me know what you guys think let me know in the comments if I got close to that sound or not or if it didn't sound anything like that at all so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed my attempt at trying to sound like the band that I have a t-shirt of on so that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed my attempt at trying to get those Nirvana tones. So that's it for this video. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other videos I should do next that are guitar related, music related, etc. Song covers, you know. Just let me know in the comments what other videos I should do in the comments that are related to guitars, song covers, you know, just the stuff that I do on my channel. So, that is all. This is Guy with Curly here, signing off. Peace out.